I'm Joseph McDaniel, and I'm an Arizona bankruptcy attorney. And since 2005, I also get to tell you that I'm a debt relief agency, and I help people and businesses file for bankruptcy, as I've been proud to do for about 30 years. Today's bankruptcy topic is another reason to find a way to pass the means test and file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy in Arizona if you can. The overwhelming majority of consumer bankruptcy cases in Phoenix and Mesa and Chandler and Gilbert and Casa Grande and Scottsdale, well, you get the idea, are filed under Chapter 7 of the Bankruptcy Code. And there are three different reasons that some clients initially ask me to file Chapter 13, which is a plan for an individual with regular income. The first reason is that they don't initially pass the means test, and therefore they believe that they cannot file a Chapter 7. Almost without exception, they are simply wrong. Uh, a skillful bankruptcy attorney can often find a way to get past the mean, mean, means test, unless he's trying to get a larger fee out of a Chapter 13. The second reason is remorse and depression. Many people personalize their credit card companies and want those soulless monsters to love them. That mistaken personalization is not a wonderful reason to trap yourself in a Chapter 13 case for three to five long, long, painful years. I'll probably do it for you if you force me to, because you're the dog and I'm the tail, but I'd rather not inflict chronic acute pain on my bankruptcy clients when it is not absolutely required by the situation. The third reason is that clients have a nifty idea about stripping down junior liens on their primary residence. While that is possible, the question remains, is it a good business decision? You don't get to scrape off the junior lien or liens until you confirm a Chapter 13 plan and you have made the payments under the Chapter 13 plan th for three to five years. At the end of that payment stream, if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, you get to scrape off or reduce some mortgages. I think there are two smarter ways to accomplish similar results with less pain to the bankruptcy debtor client, and I think there is an excellent business reason not to use a Chapter 13 bankruptcy to achieve that particular goal. Here's a pretty good one. We are currently on schedule for another 1.4 million foreclosures and trustee sales this year. That means that the pot of gold at the end of the Chapter 13 bankruptcy plan and the lien strip may be worthless. That is, the value of the house may well have dropped like a rock during the intervening three to five years. Now, I don't mean mind being paid a fair fee to do work that benefits my clients. In fact, I kind of like that. But I'd rather do things that help my clients and don't hurt them very much. Sort of like a doctor in the Hippocratic Oath. First, do no harm. There's more to come on this topic, of course. Thank you very much.